That is the lovely and talented Kevin MacLeod. McLeod playing us in with Bossa Bossa. Welcome, everybody, to another Toy Guys Talking Live. Joining me once again, it's been too long, good brother from the Patreon tribe and from Build a Brick, it's Mark. How you doing, brother? Good, man. Good. How are you doing? Always good. Awesome. Awesome to have you back on here. Uh, so what's uh, what's new and exciting in the world of Build a Brick? Yeah, man. We've just been, uh, I mean, the, the stuff probably over the last uh, month, we've, we've done a lot of releases with, like we've got with the guys at Fast and Furious. So we've been doing a lot of these like uh, celebrity signing kind of sets now. Yeah. Um, and which has been awesome. I mean, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Chad Lindbergh. He's uh, he played Jesse in Fast and Furious and um, he was in like October Sky. He's in Supernatural. So like we're getting ready to do this is a thing that's no one's seen yet. We're coming out with. Ooh, hey, g g give me a second here. I'm going to go full stream, full screen on you. There's a way to do it. How do I? Hey, here we go. OK, we go. so this yeah, is the you first can hold it up. Now. These cards are the first that we have put out right here live man so this Beautiful. is this is dr badass on uh from supernatural this is chad lindbergh and so they're i don't know if you see that so each each card is signed and uh so he he's been with us now for a while we did a a, a couple of fast and furious sets which were this one just came out so this was oh, the, cool. kind of the, you know with jesse when before he died and same yeah. thing well, He'll sign the back, and you know we kind of have this kind of cool little arrangement now, and it's it's been fun because, I mean, with COVID, no, nothing's really fun, but it's been a, it's been kind of a cool situation because a lot of these guys we met at different conventions and shows, and then the word kind of spread that for Build a Brick we could kind of distribute smaller numbers, and that we could distribute during this time when a lot of people were having a hard time with that, so yeah. we kind of you know kind of reached out to some of these celebrities and they were excited because they're not doing any shows or any signings. And so, you know, you know what they're doing? <laughs> Here's what they're doing. <laughs> that's that's exactly. And it was weird because it all started last year. We were at the Vegas show and um, the Vegas toy show. And man, it was, it, that's, that's one of the bigger shows for us. And it, it was like the calls were coming in at the show, how the world is shutting down. I mean, the apocalypse was happening. And we're looking out the window of the hotel where we were at. And it, it was like there was mayhem in the streets. It was this really strange, eerie feeling. But yet the toy show was still going on. So we were we were s still talking to toy people and, and talking about our products. And then all of a sudden the celebrities are getting calls from their managers saying, we don't have anything. Yeah. And so we just, you know, we kind of all got together. And, and it's been a fun year because we've done some cool, like here's another not that it's a celebrity one, but this is a exclusive for Epic's toys that we did. Oh, from the future. Yeah. And so Darth this was Vader. Uh, <laughs> this was a fun one because we did the, you know, that's kind of our back. Oh, but the cool. uh, yeah, and it ended up being really good. And this was an exclusive they did for their um for their box set. They did a kind of mystery box. So every, you know, a lot of it's it's fun for us because a lot of dealers, a lot of our dealers are, are getting um, more creative, you know, to, to try to reach out to customers. And this is kind of how, how it's been working. So mm -hmm. let's say a couple of hellos here to the people in the chat. Scuba Pete is driving and listening. They used to be dangerous, but I guess everything is hands free now and taps into your, you plug it into your brain and you can just tell the thing what you're thinking. Uh, Capnessa, how you doing? Bill Pagan, always good to see you, good brother. Gaz, how you doing? Afternoon. It's got the Spectrum mask going. Um, StreamYard still hasn't integrated properly with uh, the YouTube channel members so that we can get those uh, custom uh, emojis. Uh, classic action figures, hi there. How you doing? Another channel member. Uh, Robotimus Toys, how you doing? Uh, Lindsay Bradshaw, what's up, Mark? Can you up, build a brick Voltron? There's a question for you. We have it. It's let me. Uh, yeah, we have it. It's it's been out. We have. So does it combine? We have no. It's all. It's a minifigure still. So we did a minifigure set, and then we. It's kind of a funny story because we came out with the whole team of drivers as a set, 
but we didn't even know Lego was officially doing the the big model. And so all of a sudden we started getting calls from everywhere. We had that set about probably eight months before there was any word about the Voltron model, but the Voltron model that Lego did never came with minifigures. So all of a sudden we had just calls coming, I mean, inundated for about six months and uh, everybody just wiped me out. I mean, I, I was, I couldn't even keep it in. So we, we actually have just barely gotten those back. So is there yeah, a, fun. is there a, cause it, it seems like build a break is starting to approach, um, Funko Pop levels of like everybody has a figure. Is there a Michael yeah. Mercy? Is is there a Michael Mercy uh, build a brick out there? Oh, it's coming. Oh no! <laughs> oh yes, and it's <laughs> it, it. There's already been. I've already done kind of a. I, I can't show you yet, but I've done a prototype of the card, which should be oh, cool. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, this, this way. You're yeah. always on my radar, man. I mean, ever since. I think, it, you know, like I told you in the beginning that, that, you know, Jeffrey, I think I told you last time, Jeffrey was because of you. The reason I did Jeffrey the giraffe was because you were, and you had just done such great, like coverage of Toys R Us. And I was feeling all nostalgic one night and I was like, you know what, we need to do Jeffrey. And then that, that started the whole thing, man, where I designed that card to be a, uh, an old, it was one of the oldest stores still oh, up I love it. and so it, it just became this kind of cool thing but yeah that's just wait man. it's and coming. he's <laughs> i'm very very honored and humbled um it'll be interesting because uh -huh. I, I love oh, i love the accessories the that you oh is that oh and it's gonna have the beanie oh the <laughs> your figure i got a couple it'll of different it. uh headgear accessories there's the beanie and the i've been taken to wearing those military oh, yeah. hats lately they're super comfortable a lot more comfortable with my pumpkin head um you know the baseball caps sometimes start to dig in uh, to the temples but i've i've got a couple of those um the military like the the type the marines wear you know like gung-ho or leatherneck and those are just they give you the shade from the sun and they're super comfortable too Uh, hello to Gaz also, and sure, Boba yeah. Hicks is there. The tribe has uh, spoken. Classic action. Yeah, figures. the visors aren't very deep. I mean, yeah, it's a nice hat. Uh, I think we've got a little bit of lag going on with the internet here. Uh, Lindsay Bradshaw also says, uh, I wish they could do the Silverhawks and the GoBots. Ooh. What do you think of Silverhawks? Those were, that's... I, I know that Silverhawks is on my list. We're we're actually working to try to bring in more, um, like the 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 Chrome. Yes. Um, we you know Thank I don't know if, you. if anybody's ever seen our like uh, Cobra Commander, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, so we're trying to do that right. I don't I don't want to do it in a gray or any of that stuff. Like Silverhawks has always been kind of on the back of my list until we can really officially get that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Talk, talking about doing it right, these guys did it right, right here, Kenner, back in the day. Um, and there's there's talk about Super right, Seven yeah. doing some classic style Silverhawks, um, but they're saying we can't do the Chrome. Yeah, like, it'll have to be silver. And it's like, uh, what's that old expression? It's like kissing your sister. It's like, uh, okay, then thanks for making them, but if they're not Chrome, that's that's a huge part of them. Totally. Uh, let's see. A couple more comments yeah. here. I, I was always disappointed because we did a um, early on, you know, you know, we've been at this for 10 years. And early on, we did a, a Silver Surfer. And I, I wanted him chrome so bad, but it just wasn't feasible. And so I, I, I released it. It was a gray, kind of a, a, a grayish, silvery kind of color. Um, and I've just never been happy with it. You know, it's been one of those things where you're just never happy. And, uh, so I, at some point we're going to, we're going to lock down that stuff because Cobra commander's helmet was perfect. You know, that head was chromed. Um, we've had a couple other pieces. We did a chrome, we did kind of a limited edition gold chromed C3PO, which was hmm. awesome. Um, turned out really good. And in fact, they had, a. well, let me see if I have it. 
Yeah, I don't think I have it right here. But it was uh it was beautiful. It just, you know, it's something about that chrome stuff that we love, you know. Yeah. Um I'm just looking through some some more of the comments here. Uh oh, I just lost it. I had a good one. Oh, uh Aldry says the Michael Mercy build a brick figure nerd mistake. Uh let's see. Stephanie Hazel, how you doing? Uh where was the comment here? It said something about um, the, ex ah, here it is. Classic action figures, Michael Mercy minifigure with Patreon tribe t-shirt, which it's in the wash. <laughs> that's that's my favorite t-shirt now, the one that says the tribe. Oh yeah. The oh, yeah. Uh, with fireball accessory. I was thinking what accessory? <laughs> <laughs> totally. What else and I got be? fireball. Oh, just wait. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Maybe. you're, it's funny because, I think everybody knows you for certain things. And so it's, it'll be a fun figure just, just for all of us, man, that are kind of part of the tribe, right? It's just kind of a, you know, man, you, you know, you've, you've, you've had an impact on all of us. So it's been kind of a fun thing. It'll be a, it'll be a cool homage to it, man, for sure. Appreciate that. Really appreciate that. I was talking to Luana the other day about how um, we were talking about Christmas gifts and like some of these amazing gift boxes I've gotten um over the years and i was telling her like i open these gift boxes up and everything in them is just so amazing so yes the one you sent a while back like every figure was something special and it, you know it just it really showed me that you know wow you you get me <laughs> you know what i love and i was saying yeah. to her I, maybe i'm not the hardest person to to you know give gifts to because I, I like a I love a, a wide variety of stuff. Um, so when it yeah. when it comes to like a figure, it's like, yeah, man, I'm like DDP at 93. I've got a thousand gimmicks going on. <laughs> it's like, take your pick. <laughs> totally. Well, I, I love it because I think all of us, um, we all dig those. I mean, I, I'm sure you could even look at your numbers and your analytics, but we all love those gift box un unwrappings because it's like, you know the stuff this it, it's cool because we all know that the reason why you're getting it is a, a passionate thing and and the stuff that people give are like their own treasures you know so it's kind of like we all feel a part of the museum in a way i get i i know i do you know i feel like just by you having it and having it in the museum you kind of feel like you're part of a bigger group you know i certainly don't look at the collection anymore and go my collection my room i i definitely feel a kinship um totally. and it's a shared shared collection uh for sure um yeah absolutely uh i cup says i saw mark had a nirvana figure and eddie van halen figure would be sick ah musical figures you you did the michael jackson that was one of the ones you sent So we have we have we have Kurt Cobain. We have that figure. Um, we have that set. We've had that set for a long time. Um, we just came out with Johnny Cash not too long ago. Um, kind of a tribute to his like old stuff. And uh, I mean, we have Freddie Mercury, Queen. We have um, uh, you know a lot of Michael Jackson stuff. You know, that being the whole '80s thing. Um, and that's always the root of us. But music has been such a big part of my life. So I mean, I, I definitely like to pay tribute to it. But oh yeah, you can count on Eddie Van Halen. I've already been in the works. I mean, we did a, um, we did the uh, like the guitars are already kind of set modeled, so should be cool. Uh, Bill says love the unboxing videos. I want to just take a second here to and thank uh, good brothers Joseph and AJ Blake who We're sent me the very that. first gift boxes that I had ever gotten, and I had I had never even really seen a gift box on another channel. Um, I didn't film the first one <laughs> from Joseph because I just thought, wow, that was really nice of him to send this. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I, I filmed it because I wanted uh, the subsequent ones to share their reaction with the, the person that sent it so that it's not just, you know, like a quick, hey, that was cool. Thanks. Um, oh, looks like Mark has dropped off. But uh, just as I was, uh, Mark will hopefully be back here in a minute. Um, but just as I was saying, um, you know, I, I wanted to share it with others, and then it was a total surprise to me. Da -da 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 -da, he's back. But uh, it was a total surprise to me when I started to share these unboxing videos, and, and people were saying, 
uh, wow, that was a lot of fun. And they were able to uh, share my enjoyment. One thing that really is not cool is when, you know, good fortune, something nice is bestowed upon another person. And when I hear, I'm so jealous, it's like, mm -hmm. no, don't be. You've got two choices and it might not feel like a choice. It might feel automatic, but uh, here I go being preachy. Um, if you just take a second and dwell mm -hmm. on why yeah. is that jealousy popping up? If you wonder about it, what is motivating that? You can change it. So uh, I'm so yeah. glad to see the vast, vast majority of people are enjoying the gift boxes. And it's kind of like you were saying, you're part of the toy museum. You're part of the unboxing. Like you're, you're right there alongside me. Your my your hand is touching my hand as I'm going into the box and looking at, at all these amazing tre treasures. Yeah. Uh, and good brother Micah has sent yeah, some of the most do. amazing gift boxes. Oh yeah. When we love it, because when you when you get into it, it's, you know I kind of feel like uh, you know all of a sudden we're you know ten years old again at, at at the birthday party where you're trying to unwrap the the birthday boys box and everybody's trying to jump in there and unwrap yeah. together it kind of feels like that you know yeah uh lindsay's got a whole bunch of suggestions for you mark one punch man oh, yeah. would be cool oh yeah that uh, would be good duran duran and good. the scorpions Axel Dude, scorpions. yes oh yes oh he needs a little patience i got <laughs> a, a musical uh request for you and it'll probably be the only time you ever get this request okay lawrence gowan lawrence gowan Lawrence Gowan was uh, is an amazing musician, singer, songwriter, piano player, guitar player. So he had a, a, a well, still has a great solo career. Uh, he's from Toronto or the Toronto okay. area. So I grew up, you know, Gowan being the, the big thing here in Southern Ontario. Um, yeah. Over the last couple of years, he's uh, taken over as the lead singer of Styx. So oh. if you remember Styx, oh, Gowan yeah. stepped in and he's, he's the Styx guy now, but Nice. If you if you go on YouTube and search Gowan Strange Animal or Criminal really? Mind, his his two biggest hits, Strange Animal, Criminal Mind, but all of his songs are so amazing. He he is an electric poet, like Jim Morrison. He's just incredible, always high energy, huge influence on me growing up. Huge, always positive, yeah. thoughtful, introspective, energetic. Um just a magnificent human being from beginning to end. I mean, he's, he's still going strong and he is what he today. He is what he was like 30, 40 years ago, same level of energy, excitement, enthusiasm. So, uh, and tons of gimmicks, as many gimmicks as DDP oh, yeah. in 93. He, when he was younger, he had a mullet and a, a tuft of red hair in the front. The bangs were red. Um, now they're blue or, or, uh, Maybe they're gray now on the sides. I don't know. But uh, yeah, he's yeah. for people who don't know Gowan, awesome, awesome singer. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I would think for him to be the lead man for Sticks, he'd have to have a range and would just be off the charts. So, and so physical too. He used to do this. I think he might still do it actually. He has a keyboard yeah. that's on a, on a, a stand that spins around because he wants to be able to turn and face the crowd, right? wherever it so it moves with him yeah. and when he gets really worked up now this is this guy's a classically trained pianist so he's kind of punk but yeah. he's also kind of kind of beethoven he's like a punk beethoven sort of pop not oh, really man. punk pop but uh he'll he'll jump over the keyboard he'll leap over it like whew, launch right over it with a giant kick he's just spectacular and, and i got to see oh, him live couple of times uh he came to my town my little old town he came there and played and there he was launching himself over the keyboard i'm like here <laughs> really and i got to meet him a few times class act 100 oh, yeah. class human being the, i think the second time i met him he remembered me even though we only talked for a minute or two anyway this is supposed to be about build a brick this isn't the oh, lawrence man. gowan power hour. I love it, man. <laughs> it's awesome man. it's awesome it's all good yeah, don't get me started on uh, Lawrence Gowan. Goji Tron, how you doing? Another awesome gift box. Uh, give her uh, that that Christmas gift box. Goji Tron said was amazing, and we're still trying to work through all the uh, the, the treats. Uh, Goji Tron says you're an easy person to fill a box for, Michael. <laughs> Thank you very much. So true. So true. 
And Stephanie says, unboxing videos feel like Christmas. They really do all year long, Christmas or, or birthday. And, uh, um, you know, I'm very honored uh, to everybody who sends one uh, and uh, and more coming too. Uh, Patreon exclusives on the way. I wanted to mention I'm going to do one for uh, uh, a box that Mark um, uh, Boba Hicks just sent from Ireland. Great box of alien stuff. So that's going to be a Patreon exclusive. Uh, and if I don't remember later on, I also wanted to mention to the folks on Patreon, uh, lockdown is over here. So I just went to Toys R Us last night, Toys R Us in Canada, another Ooh. virtual tour of uh, our Toys R Us coming oh. to Patreon. Because uh, if there oh. was no Patreon tribe, there would be no channel. The channel is here because of the Patreon tribe. So thank you everyone on Patreon for supporting the channel. Uh, Joe Self with an awesome suggestion here. If you want a musical build a brick figure, Stan nah. Bush. Stan Bush, man. Do you have the touch mark to do that yes. figure? That I haven't thought of. That's yeah, that would be interesting. Mm. My my one suggestion would be it would have to be Stan from the uh the touch music video. Do you yeah. remember that one? Oh yeah. With the yeah. hair. I think there yeah, there would be yeah. I think it was a white shirt he was wearing. That would be but the trick. Remember, I got to figure that part out. Usually that's the hard part, but I, you know. Do you remember the guitar uh, he was playing? I think it was like shooting lasers at one point. So my one suggestion would be if you could somehow incorporate like clear, a clear plastic laser bolt to attach to the guitar. Cause oh, yeah. if, if there's a Stan Bush build a brick figure, it has to be from that video and it has to be the moment when he's shooting lasers with the guitar. So we need to be able, I guess you could grab some laser bolts from other transformers yeah. toys they have, but to just have it in the package there, yeah. that would be like the, the coupe de grass right on oh, there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Those are fun ones to do because I, like I said, that connection to music is always fun for me. So, I, you know, I, of course, I love making Star Wars stuff and G.I. Joe stuff and all of our things that we love. But it seems like when I hit the, the music thing just right, it, 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 it literally, not the pun, but strikes a chord, right? A lot of people start to really see it almost. We, we run into a lot of customers that aren't toy people at all. And they really wow. come in going, oh, man, I, I've always wanted to have a Michael Jackson figure or a Kurt Cobain or whatever. So... We've tried to put a lot of effort to it. it. They get a little tricky because the figures are are so iconic that I, I can't, you can't just generic kind of do a fudge to it. You know, it has to be the right thing. So when I'm talking to the factories, I usually have to have a, a something more specific. Mm -hmm. um, I just saw, there he is. Matthew Craps is here. We just sent this epic crusader, which it's right beside my Cobra bug too. Oh, I I got this guy back here too because I wanted to also mention uh, coming this Saturday. I'm all over the place today. It, I got myself a Battle Armor Origins He Man, took that head out of the package, popped it on the original Much He Man. Big, Much big. Uh, but yeah, Matthew sent the Crusader and uh, I love it. I'm, I'm converted. I never thought I would be, but <laughs> Matt did it. Uh, go, yo, space. <laughs> like, I just. You know, I don't need a huge G.I. Joe space contingent, but uh, I'm so glad I got a little one. Oh, well, yeah. it's, it's a big one, but, you know. Uh, uh, Leonardo, hello there. Big hugs from a great admirer of yours in Brazil. Thank you very much. Cool. Good luck in the next World Cup. Brazil is always one of my favorite teams to watch during the World Cup of mm -hmm. football, a.k.a. soccer. Oh, here's another great one from Carl. Uh, Weird Al? Yep. Talk about gimmicks. Already, can... already in the works. You could do yeah. a whole like subset oh, yeah. of Weird Al and all the characters he's done in his music videos. Um, eat it. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you this right now. We so that's the first one is we're doing is we have. So this is going to sound funny, but the hair that I've tried to lock down for Eddie Van Halen is also Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah. So it's kind well, of, you got it. You have to share parts. I mean, that's Mattel, Hasbro, Kenner, oh, the old. Yeah. So I've been waiting to kind of lock down that for those two figures because we're we're basically doing a we're doing the eat it Al, Al Yankovic, but it's um, that Eddie Van Halen, you know, not not a it's nothing really complicated because you know he he wore a, basically a wife beater most of the time and he, but his hair was iconic the hair and the guitar for Eddie Van Halen, so mm -hmm. 
usually with all of our stuff, it's all an illusion. You know, for the most part, these are little block people. You know, they're not like something that's super detailed. Yeah. But it's that iconic piece, kind of like you mentioned the laser bolt on Stan yeah. Bush, right? That moment. those those yeah. that and you it would it's kind of an illusion enough to where you can enjoy it as a relic in its own little reliquary instead of it being like a you know it has to be so detailed or articulated or whatever. You know, builder brick's a different thing. We kind of are trying to give it a, a nostalgic connection, right? Well, there's value to both of them. I mean, you take an original yeah. vintage Jenner Star Wars figure, you take um what the black series they're they're both great uh because the black series has more detail that does not mean that the vintage are no longer needed and you need to throw them all in the garbage or melt them in a big vat of acid like red letter media i mean oh. there is there's value to the simpler times there's also value to you know 4k high definition uh detail totally. you know they they have a synergy with them. And, and uh, I think the people who realize that are the people who don't kick themselves years down the road going, why did I get rid of those originals? Cause you know, there's a synergy. Oh, yeah. One doesn't work without the other. I think, I think super seven is proving that all over the place with that mm -hmm. retro line. I think most of us, I, I, you know, I don't want to speak for everybody. I remember when that line first came out, I remember being a little like, Whoa, hold on a second. You know, these, our world is now articulated. You know, I had that little bit of like prejudice against those figures, but man, it was pretty quick. As soon as that alien set was over, I was like, man, I should have gotten that. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, they just started running with everything. So, you know, I, I get it and I totally get it. And I think in a lot of ways it's, it's just, it's the same thing we've done. It's just try to be simplistic, but be nostalgic. Mm -hmm. you know? Here's a question for you, Mark, uh, from classic action figures channel member. Uh, oh, yeah. What is your most prized minifigure creation? Uh, the one that gives you the most joy, not including the Major Mercy <laughs> <laughs> coming soon figure. Oh, that, joy, that joy is yet to be felt. Hold on. I I think, yeah, man, it, it's hard because I have, a, I mean, we're at 500 of these, right? Um, but, you know, I, I mean, I... I think there's probably most most of the ones that I think to me that are that are that are fun for my own collection are the crossover stuff. I love I love a Deadpool Bob Ross crossover. I love cool. you know I, I, Deadpool's beautiful with all those crossovers for me. But you know we did a, a crossover where it, you know Deadpool was in the Star Wars universe, and th those are just ones that are fun because you know trying to mimic what's already out there is 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 fun right it's nostalgic but when i start to kind of jump out of that and go into another realm man it those are the ones that kind of hit me um but i have enjoyed yeah, man like custom I mean, stuff that's what we did as kids the companies weren't allowed to do it because copyright right. infringement trademark infringement you had to have an army of lawyers right. hash this stuff out but when we were kids we didn't care it's like hey you know gi joe is oh. going to play with he-man and and I mean, that's why crossovers are such a huge deal these days because the companies have finally figured out, well, the companies in large part are being run by those kids who just didn't care. They were like, I don't care about the legal stuff. I just yeah. want, you know, my Han Solo and a G.I. Joe vamp. And that's right. Yeah. That's it, you know, or, or vice versa, you know, the crossover. Even if the scales weren't right, a lot of us found yeah. a way, you know, to try to incorporate Transformers with G.I. Joe and stuff. So... That's, well, that's you, the real fun and magic of crossing figures over. Yeah, I think the, you know, to answer kind of that question, I mean, for me, I think it's more like the ones that I'm the most proud of are the ones where I've brought something to market that maybe we all didn't get a chance to have. So, like, uh, for example, Cheech and Chong, our two pack of Cheech and Chong, mm -hmm. that's an 80s nostalgic thing to me. And I know a lot of us have that same feeling of where they plugged into the, the, the canon. Um, but we never saw a toy of that. We never, you know, there wasn't going to be a, a marijuana toy. So it was kind of like, it's just a nostalgic two pack for me, but those are the ones I'm proud of. The ones that are something that we never saw, you know, it's one thing to, you know, like this is one that, you know, of course everybody's all excited about right now. Right. Cause we're doing, so good. Stuff, you know, yeah. but, but, and those are fun because they're, you know, part of what's going on. 
but I'll tell you, the, the ones that really hit me are the ones where they never existed and I'm yeah. able to kind of bring them in, you know? You know what I call those? Unfinished business. Dude, that's exactly right. <laughs> that the, the right. Michael Mercy figure you're working on needs to have that kind of Kenner inspired unfinished business logo that I pop in some of my videos. <laughs> Cause yeah, I don't think there's ever been a figure of me uh, other than like one I, I put together of myself years ago, you know, of a character oh. that I did one time in a, in a little, you know, student film. Well, um, we'll, have to, we'll have to do some kind of fun Patreon thing. It'll be yeah. kind of a cool, cool deal. Yeah. Oh, here's a great one from Gaz Ace Hunter. Ooh, dang. That would be a good one. Yeah. And my list is pretty long, but it's like, you know, it depends on how cool these suggestions are. I usually, if it's something I'm excited about, I'll pop it up that I wasn't thinking. That's a that's a good one. Is there any way to do a thumb uh, and like have the figure be able to kiss his thumb? Because an Ace Hunter figure has to be able to kiss the thumb. That's yeah. that magic moment, right? Well, that would get tricky, but yeah. <laughs> we have it would have to be a giant <laughs> thumb, maybe. <laughs> You know, my hands are like this I'm dealing with, right? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would have to be an enormous thumb. To, I don't know. Um, classic action figures oh, yeah, like Steve Shoka. Real quick. This is, there's your back. Oh, beautiful. See? So just give me an example of the vacuum stuff. Yeah, that looks the amazing. Chrome. Now, so you're able to vac chrome things. Black Major, yeah. who does the uh, G.I. Joe... Uh, style o-ring figures vac metals things so you know with you guys being able and companies being able to vac metal things i just don't understand why super seven can't and here's here's the deal with super seven doing silver hawks that aren't vac metaled um they say well it's going to really drive the cost up yeah. 500 dollar thunder tank they don't seem to worry about driving the cost up yeah, do the expensive true. silver hawks make them expensive and make them chrome people will buy them yeah i would think if, if they could add that premium even to their ultimate figure line just add the premium people would buy them yeah it's it, it kind of is a no-brainer to me on that for sure mm -hmm. gojitron says kudos on the uncle owen and bruce <laughs> set how dare you <laughs> it's, it's funny it's still one of our most probably one of our highest selling sets of all time and every time I, you know, when I'm going a show live with people, every, I have to put that up front because when they walk by, they're usually like, Ooh, Ooh, that's, that's really gross. That's unfortunate. <laughs> um, but then we all talk about how, you know, nostalgic that set is. Well, you know? <laughs> Good Lord. Here's the thing. Um, first appearance is very important, right? We all love first appearance figures, but I think last appearance is just as important. I actually just oh. in my visit to Toys R Us last night, I picked up last appearance ultimate warrior his final appearance on raw he's wearing the gray suit with the black duster tr the trench coat and he had the mask that's the last promo he ever did he delivered his own eulogy because if you want something done right you got to do it yourself last okay. appearance so i you know i i can see why some folks would want a last appearance of <laughs> owen and Baru. oh yeah not Oof. to mention you know we talk about it all the time the how horrifying that was for us, all of us in that 40, 50s, you know, age group, when we saw that for the first time, that was almost like the first kind of gore we had seen yeah. where, you know, it was like flesh and blood and bones. And, and, and I remember being traumatized. And so it was like, it was like a set that I had to make, you know, that's the moment a lot of people forget. Like star Wars is such a fun, easy breezy oh. movie. And then there's that horrific part. That's Pretty worse than Luke's hand getting cut off. Oh, way worse. And it was kind of, you think about it, the, the thing I always explain is to him, we kind of know them as his parents. Yeah, that's his mom so, and dad. Yeah, for us to be seven, eight, nine years old and watching his parents toasted like that, we were like, man, I mean, it would, I remember the impact was, it was, I was very sorrow, you know, I had this sadness, you know, going on. So, yeah. um, but I, you know, that connection to how brutal that set was, I, I had to make it. it so, I, I hope everybody understands that there was nothing humorous about me making that set. It was really yeah. more on the level of this was kind of a tribute to, yeah. you know, a traumatic moment for me. <laughs> so. Yeah. 
Um, I, I, let me test your Star Wars knowledge here because I've never really dwelled on this before. Um, yep. Does Luke spend more time in the movie? Like, who knows off screen, but on screen, does Luke spend more time mourning Ben than Owen and Baru? Oh, yeah. Is oh, that weird? Yeah. It is weird. Yeah, because, I mean, it was like, it seems like seconds, right? When when he goes back to Obi-Wan and Obi-Wan's like, oh, yeah, you have nothing to stay here for. There's nothing for me here yeah. now. I'm out of here. Yeah, so then as soon as that happened, it was kind of like, okay. You know, it was like he was, you could kind of sense that everything got serious. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know if he was, he wasn't in the Millennium Falcon saying, hey, you know, I really miss them, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, and when Ben dies, who he's known five minutes, he won't get up. Yeah. He was like, come mm -hmm. on. And then Han's like, buddy, you know, I got an extra gun here. I need man. Okay. Totally. <laughs> it's like, it's, 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 it's nice that he is so sad about Ben, but uh, <laughs> I never really thought about that. Yeah, um, me either. Funny. Is yeah, this a, is weird, huh? Is this Jack Burton here? <laughs> I have arrived. Everybody relax. Alex is here. Uh, Mecha Man Blade says, uh, he's wondering if there's any big, any big minifigures coming. Like, uh, do you do oversized ones? We, okay. I, I guess I took that as from the movie Big. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> but you know, the, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't well, know. What, it, you could take it either way. I, I thought it, it was like giant. Yeah, I, uh, like Andre yeah, and we, or something. So, well, we did like early on, like, I mean, literally like in the very beginning, like year one, you know, 10, 11 years ago, we did a, I did like an incredible, you know, one of the big incredible Hulk, big, you know, muscular ones. Um, and we just did a bigger acrylic box and it had the card in there and all that, but it was kind of weird. It, I think there's something, if you can kind of tell back behind me, like there was something about the continuity of this, of the um the, sh the shape and the way these would be displayed you know mm -hmm. that i i think that's what kind of kind of got everybody was that you could put these all together and um you know with the big ones they kind of created a you know an, a weird shape they i guess. threw off the the harmony and i'll tell you it's it's funny I can I can I can tell you this honestly as a collector for me and I know there's guys out there that feel like this. You know how we all kind of I don't, I don't want to just talk for myself. You know how when they change a card on us, I, I feel a little jaded and that yeah. You know I feel a little like hold on a second I'm I'm all in, I'm all excited and then you go change it and man if you change the size of that card. I'm out. Yeah, they did that with the tick. I just got a whole bunch of tick figures. Never, never had uh, other than Tick and Arthur. Oh, yeah. um, we never even got series two here. Like at, at mm -hmm. in my stores, I never saw them here. But I just picked up like a complete tick uh, collection. Um, I had a request a while back from Derek. What uh, I think it was from Derek. Uh, what are some affordable vintage toy lines you can still get into collecting these days, even though everything is really shot up in price. I forgot to mention the tick, which you can get great men on card figures for really, really cheap. But uh, series one and series two are different size cards. Like the series two cards are just a little smaller yeah. and it doesn't have a cutout of the ticks uh, little tentacle on the side. I'm like, don't change the card. They don't go together. They still look nice all together. Oh, so, you but, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. so that was always, I think, probably... I gotta say, in some weird way, was was a driving force for me to make build a brick. Was I, I was enjoying that my figure was the same, my card was the same, my packaging was the same, and now I'm in. I think we're on our 550th set. So wow. after 550 of these, I haven't changed one one thing about the format. So it's all the same. And, and I'll never change it because what I'm trying to do is make the world squeeze into my universe. So that way it's all on my wall the same. So when I have a Jaws figure sitting next to Dorothy from Wizard of Oz, it's a conversation piece, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where it's kind of hard to, you know, when I, with my action figures, those are things that don't kind of gel together. The packaging kind of messes with me, but that was kind of, that was more of a, you know, OCD kind of thing, but it's kind of is what gave birth to all of it, I guess. 
Well, I think of it as harmony. I mean, these X-Men, Marvel figures that I collect, um, I, I open the movie ones because the, the packaging, even though it's the same size, it doesn't go with this stuff. They change the colors on it and stuff. And there's it's just fine. not a, a harmony and a synergy. Those are words that I'm always using with this yeah. stuff. And it just, it doesn't, doesn't flow with it. And uh, so that's why I, I open some and keep others closed. Um, classic action figure says the vac metalized droid looks amazing. And Matt's asking, uh, about the vac metalizing process so I can do my Matt's <laughs> planning on doing a sky or a space patrol defiant doing a Chrome defiant. Yeah. I, I'll tell you one thing, um, going way back, like early days for me. Um, and I, I don't know if anybody even knows my background, I, I originally started in sculpting, um, did a lot of uh, uh, freelance sculpture work like in the nineties, like back in the beginning of all the kind of heyday when it was coming. And um, like, I'd worked on a few things with like into toys, all those things. So I kind of cool. started, I started kind of playing with some of those techniques, but man, I, I found later on just manufacturing stuff with factories. It's crazy. The amount of tools they have, like they have everything at their disposal, especially in China, everything's at their disposal for a fairly good deal. So unless you're a customizer that's trying to go through that customizing process, like to, to, you know, vac from, you know, do the vac on it. There's a lot of good videos out there. I mean, there's a lot of them like that, that are kind of going over the process. Dude, I even did a gold leaf thing like years ago <laughs> where I wanted to kind of gold leaf, you know, a figure. And, uh, but it's, it's, it's all fun anyway, but nowadays it's for us, it's just, is it feasible? Can, you know, I, I, I understand with, you know, Super 7 and all that, because some of that cost, I, I guess I don't get it with them because they're on a whole different level. But for me, we do small runs of things. So it, it, it's hardly ever really feasible for me to go into that. But like a line of Silverhawks, man, would be well worth it for me. Have you ever reissued a figure or is it one and done? No, so we, it, it just kind of depends. Like, we're, since we're kind of a parts thing, um, you know, like I'll say, I think our biggest, I think our biggest, um, especially from our like fan base, is our card designs. I, I want to think that it's the card to us, it's not so much the figure. Hmm. Where I've, I've thought about in the past, you know, the, the card design for me is, is the funnest part because I can create something that maybe we never saw or a different version. Um, but having, having that figure kind of just solidifies the whole package. But in a lot of ways, I feel like I could almost put any kind of figure in there. And I kind of tested this last year. If some people, I, I don't know if anybody got a hold of this, but like Jason's mask. So we did a, we did a, um, basically really small miniature versions of that mask and we put it in our cases, no figure, just the mask. And they sold out. And I mean, like, I think in a day we were done. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that it kind of tested my my brain a little bit to say, is it so much the figure or is it more the nostalgic element of like a relic? Um, it, which has gotten me thinking, you know, I thought about doing a line of just props in our cases. Like, a, a, a you know, almost at like a one six scale, like a. You know, whether it was a gun or a, a particular kind of accessory, something, you know, if you picture Indiana Jones pistol, right? His little Browning pistol. Yeah. Um, it, things like that, that, that would be bigger, some little kind of relic thing. But that's where we're at. Mm -hmm. uh, Gojitron says, I think the package symmetry is what drives the Funko pop craze. Please. Yeah. All the same. And, and Toys R Us... They seem to have doubled during the lockdown. They they had more Funko Pops than I've ever seen before there, and it's they're sticking with the white box. So there's there's something to that. There's yeah, a big big thing to that. Yeah, I think that's kind of been the for us. You know, I, I think us is is kind of a color splash. You can kind of tell, mm -hmm. uh, but I think having that little acrylic shine is what that's kind of our white box is when you look across all of our stuff, it, it has that acrylic shine, that almost graded figure feel, you know, so. Um, Gojitron says, what about a Godzilla versus Kong two pack? Yes. Um, well, if, if he's familiar, we're, we're doing, uh, we have Godzilla sets um, that we went all the way back, you know, to the original 
Godzilla for the format of the card and kind of a diorama. We did a diorama card, which was awesome because I years ago had had made um, I had another I was the founder of Buildorama, which was a bunch of diorama materials for the last twenty years, and we did a little like a diorama case that had you know the little tiny planes flying around Godzilla and the destroyed city and all that, and the figures kind of walking around in it. So to do a two pack of King Kong and him would be awesome, kind of facing off, kind of like we did our Aliens two pack would be cool. I know we're throwing a lot of ideas at you, like overload. No, it's awesome. <laughs> overload. I, I love it because I'm going to go back and watch this, and I'll just have my notepad. <laughs> so but I, I, I got to throw a, a, a pair out there, um, and some folks have mentioned it in the chat there. Where's Mask? <sighs> okay. <laughs> I know we first saw this last time. So the hardest part with Mask is kind of – so so kind of if you want to throw that back up. So this whole idea – yeah, it's real similar, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and and I've gotten, I've gotten samples from the factory of almost every form of that. I think we're slowing down here a little bit. Where is it, me? Um, are we back? Uh, we're back. And we're lagging again. Uh, Micah says, could you do a Christar, Chris Star figure or Visionaries figures? There you are. I'm back. You're back. Right. Who's lagging here? <laughs> Folks in the chat, <laughs> hit us up. Let us know who's lagging here. Is it me or is it Mark? It's probably me. I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah, man. There's like no signal of anything here. Everything's dead. Uh, but you were saying the mask, uh, similar to Marty, it would it would be like an oversized spectrum? Yeah, where, where it comes over the torso, you know, like the old mask figure. So that was the closest <laughs> thing I could find that I, where I wanted to have that mask feel, you know? I, mean, I, we, I just had this idea of, like, instead of doing, I mean, the iconic one is Tracker with Spectrum. I, I just imagine how angry people would be if instead of Tracker and Spectrum, you did Buddy Hawks and Penetrator. <laughs> <laughs> Ones. yeah totally. <laughs> whatever works yeah <laughs> uh and micah also uh suggests chris star or visionaries Ooh, oh yeah. clear clear okay. build a brick figures so that we've been working on that now a lot like let me go in uh, solo mode here oh yeah so and we don't work for chris star we just came out with um we just came out with Thank you very much, Brody. Appreciate that. We just came out with uh, Darth Reven on like a little hollow Darth Reven. But we've been, we did a, we did a hollow emperor set. So you can look on our website and look through Instagram. We, we have a bunch of pictures of that, okay. but that would totally, totally be that. We could, we could work that in for sure. Mm. Uh, thanks for the heads up there. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Everyone is pie. It's not me. Uh, uh, Silverhawks are coming, Micah, or, or or hopefully. I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Fingers crossed. Definitely. Uh, Might be a little on, while, but it's that's it's on the wish list. Yeah, absolutely. but want to do them right though, and Chrome is the right way. I mean, Silverhawks in particular, we've seen them done the right way and dare I say the wrong way by the company that did them Kenner right we have series one series two That's series right. one those look beautiful series two what the heck why why only the body on the ultrasonic silverhawks why that I remember as a kid looking at that and going that's not right that's yeah. not right <laughs> that's what's funny is having to kind of go back and hopefully change some of that stuff you know mm -hmm. that's what we hope with all these toy companies right yeah uh thundercats uh have, action force so we did we we have almost all the thundercats now i we haven't done a, a panther we did a um we had a really cool uh set we did with um with larry kenny we had we had we have an there was an autograph set through epics toys so if you check out epic toys they have they have a an exclusive set we did with Larry and he was uh 
he's just a really nice guy. And you know, he was the voice of Lino. Yeah. And we did the Lino um, card for him. And then, uh, and he's on the back. So it's kind of a cool set, but we, I mean, we've done Chitara. We've done uh, Bengali. We have, I don't know if we've officially put him out. I don't know if I should say that, but he's, he's, we have him. He's ready to go. Mm. So he's one that I'm excited to get out. And then we did um, uh, Tigra. So we, we've, we've kind of gotten to him. Panther's a little harder for us, but I'll get him. I'll get him. Uh, Tats and Toys 75 says, thanks for the mask mention always. And there's a big mask video coming on the channel very soon, Ooh. courtesy of Michael Choi's Patreon special missions request. It's not a history. That's that's also coming down the road. I'm looking forward to doing a mask history, but a, a big mask, yeah, big be... mask review is coming. Sean, how you doing? Good to see you. Spaceballs, Dark Helmet, Lone Star. Lots to choose from there. That might actually be a yeah. I gotta look at that again. That I I think I had played with doing that at one point because of the helmet. Mm -hmm. You know, if you picture a minifigure with a giant helmet, one scale helmet on, <laughs> it's kind of you know we're getting close, right? You basically take a build a brick Vader and just stick on a, a, a maybe not a six scale helmet, but like a yeah, a black like series a, helmet. Yeah, I think those would be perfect. Yeah, the six that, that's about the perfect scale. And when I when I was doing it, there was none of those, so I got to kind of re revamp now and go back. Mm -hmm. a couple I mean, people are. A couple of folks there mentioning I'll, Tomax and we'll that go. Ooh, yeah, Tomax is Yeah, that's one of my favorites of Joe's. So uh, yeah, that would be uh, that'd be excellent. Mm -hmm. Uh we've got a couple of minutes left here. We're gonna go up until uh about uh one o'clock here Eastern time. You're in Utah, which is about two hours behind, so you're gearing up for lunch. Um mm -hmm. But uh, anything you want to talk about? Uh, what's on the horizon for Build a Brick coming soon? Yeah, we have. Uh, uh, we did. Well, we're we're coming out with this next week. We're bringing this back. We had a. This is our our now kind of uh, our hooded Obi Wan. Oh, cool! You know, so we got that coming. That hasn't been released yet. We just came out with this set, which everybody seems to yes. be excited about. You know, so. That one's been fun. And now, we, I want to ask you about the Scooby Doo one um, yeah. that you just held up. It's a two pack. Is that the that's the same size box as all the other figures, right? All the rest, yeah. So these are our. But you've we, turned it on its side to fit the two figures. That's right. So, so, so what do you do on your wall, like, you know, to fit it in with the rest of it? It has to be on its side, basically. Yeah. So I usually on any of those, I have I have its own set where they're all kind of. Because we've done, the two packs. You know, yeah, all the two packs now. We probably have thirty sets of them, you know, that we've done over the years. So, um, like we just did uh, uh, Axel Rose and, and Slap, you know, for uh, Guns and Roses, we did their two pack. Um, yep. So, you know, we're starting to get a bunch of them. So I, I kind of just collect those as a separate area. To, <laughs> here's a suggestion for a two pack: Tick and Arthur. <laughs> See that would be awesome. It, it's funny because it, some of those are would be so excellent, and and man, anytime you're talking about like a, a weird head, <laughs> yeah, so like so so a one that everybody wants that's on me constantly about is uh, South Park, right? We're getting close to that kind of thing, but the the problem is the heads are they're just they're not a minifigure head. So either you either got to work out something, you know, to this effect. Like a oh pumpkin head, right? That that slides on to the top of a minifigure that has that big round bulbous head, right? From South Park. So there's just a bunch of those. So I usually have to kind of categorize my suggestion box is kind of filled with a line of really hard to make ones, and then ones that we can kind of get out in a timely fashion. So. You know. Here's a question for you. <laughs> um, so you've made a lot of great figures. You've got a lot of great favorites. Is there one that's kind of like the one ring you wish you could unmake that figure? You wish it had never been made. <laughs> yes, there is one. <laughs> do you 
Do you want to say it just in case it's oh, yeah. still in it, stock it, and on sale? <laughs> it is. And it is. And the funny part is, is it sells pretty well. Oh, really? Uh, for a specific niche, but it's, I don't know why, even why I did it. It was kind of a strange thing. It was, it was John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> so it was like, <laughs> I don't know if we necessarily, like, let me see. I'll drive right here. In the suit, right? The, uh, the leisure suit. Yeah, so it was a. I can't get the. Oh, I can't get the well, you can't tell by the way I want. Dude, it was. Yeah, it's one of those ones where you're kind of like, man, did I. Are you going to be doing like a BG set? <laughs> Maybe that'll help. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think if I would have continued into the 70s, we probably would have been good. But like, here's the card. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so it was very lucky, man. It was very like. This is the figure. Oh, wow. <laughs> so amazing. You, you kind of see where it's one of those ones where I'm like, did I really necessarily have to do that? But, <laughs> and I doubled him up because you kind of needed to do that, right? If you were going to do that. Yeah, Grease. So it's in well, anything, you, anything to get an Olivia Newton John figure. <laughs> well, I, so we did a two pack of them for Greece for a Christmas kind of special Christmas pack, and they went like crazy. We we had a bunch of our, uh, let's just say, a bunch of our lady fans just went nuts. I mean, yeah. they were all over that. So I don't know. That's that's probably the one. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of expecting you to slap a new name on that, and that'll be the Michael Mercy build a brick figure. <laughs> don't, don't test me. Don't test me. Say, hey, Mark, that doesn't look like me. I'll just put a beanie on him. We'll just and I've, just and I've never him. worn a white leisure suit. <laughs> it's never too late. It's never too late. Uh, let's see. Stephanie's asking about Godzilla. Goji Sean asked about that earlier, too. And Jet Jaguar. Godzilla and Jet Jaguar. So for, for a two pack. Yeah, that would be awesome. I and and like I said, we we just brought in. in oh, fact, sorry, that was Stephen, not Stephanie. Sorry, Stephen. We just brought in. You know, we've had Godzilla for a while now, but we just brought in like the blue Godzilla. Um, we you know had those kind of been running for a while, so that set's coming. So anything that anything we can start doing two packs with Godzilla, we're going to try to because now we're pretty much solid on on what we can get in for Godzilla. So you know, be expecting some of those because I think they'll, they'll be really cool in our two pack format. It's it, classic action figures likes it. The John Travolta figure. Yeah, see, I told you <laughs> it's just one of those things. He's played some really cool characters too. Oh yeah. Um, and it, I, I, I think, I think the grease to us is a little more iconic than the, I, I guess the Saturday night fever was just a little bit above my time, you know? So it was kind of a, I was still pretty young to understand that whole vibe, but I think, uh, I think like Greece makes sense because that was kind of an '80s thing. So yeah, he's been good. Thanks, Stephen. I like when things just roll off people's back and they don't, you know, they don't take, totally. take things too personally. Um, yeah, time for me to get some new contact lenses. <laughs> In addition to uh, getting some lunch as well. But uh, before we sign off on here, uh, buildabrick.com is where you can get. It's build-a-brick.com. Uh, and the store is up also, there. Our Instagram is a big one too, because we have every every picture we've ever of anything we've ever made, even things that we've never produced, um, is on there. So it's kind of a fun look. I mean, there's probably 800 posts on there. So, and that's just mm -hmm. at Build a Brick, no dashes. Uh, Jerry, I have a question for you though, Michael. I speaking of sir, just uh, speaking oh, of in Instagram, yeah. another great Instagram retro toy pile. Jared, how you doing? He's one half of the Minnesota, uh, what is it? The Massachusetts Wrecking Crew with Obi. Uh, and a shout out to Obi too. Uh, Jared's good friend here. Sorry, what was your question? Yeah, for you, man, have you ever thought about doing a, uh, like a Gabriel toys? Like from all the old, like Lone Ranger stuff? Uh, for some reason, that stuff's like firing me up right now. I don't know why. I'll, I'll do anything. I mean, uh, if I have it, you know, I'll even do things I don't have. Sometimes uh, when I'm doing the history videos, I don't sweat it. If I don't have one figure or one toy, I'll, you know, I'll ask around and see if I can get footage or a picture from somebody. Like in uh, in the Transformers history video, there were some that I was missing, and uh, 
and I found some amazing pictures from a, a blog and I asked him, can, Hey, you've got amazing pictures of these toys. I don't have. Can I use them with full credit? Um, you know, cause you should ask yeah. and give credit when you are using other Absolutely. people's footage, you know, yeah. wink, wink, the Patreon tribe knows what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, if, you know, if, <laughs> if I ever get my hands on it, definitely. Cause it's, it's a big thing to a lot of people. I've heard those brought up a lot. They mean a lot. Um, just like Dino Riders, yeah, just like a lot really of lines that I don't collect. Yeah, they were, they were a little more obscure, I guess, to me, except for what I remember of them as, as a kid is that they were such a, uh, they were such kind of the, um, uh, the, the start of the accessories, like in the holsters, where the Lone Ranger had his hol his gun went in the holster for a 118 figure. Were those figure, sized? They were, were three they and three quarter. They had a horse. I might have had one. And, I might have had a Lone Ranger awesome. figure when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, like, and they had the Tonto, had like a knife, a pistol, you know, that went into sheaths and everything. So, yeah. way, way, you know how we always wanted, I'll, I'll leave you with this. Remember Han Solo from like the Hoth Han Solo? Yeah. I know we all did it where we stuck the handle in the loop to make it emulate the holster so you could, he could carry around his pistol. Mm -hmm. So, that, that loop was huge, right? That little that would just kind of hold something. But Gabriel had come out with those. And, you know, all those toy companies at the time, Mego for, like, Buck Rogers, nobody was making a removable holster, you know, a, a gun in a holster. So yeah. I just think they – they we owed them something. You know, they kind of had changed that whole thing for us. I plan on doing this, um, you know, for as, as long as I can. So uh, I would love to do – you know, something on Gabriel toys one day, uh, Lone Ranger, all of those, uh, cool. you know, the, the toys before the, the eighties toys, the seventies toys, the sixties toys. And, uh, you know, I love the yeah. obscure stuff too. Uh, Joe, thank you very much. Glad you had fun today. Yeah. Be retro. How you doing? Stephanie, uh, thanks for, uh, joining us today. Thank you very much. Gaz as well. Uh, lots of awesome, awesome suggestions here. Uh, Jared saying the uh, Lone Ranger figures were awesome. Yeah, this has been an awesome chat, Mark. It's been too long and hopefully not as long for the next time we chat. And uh, Mark is uh, lagging as I'm trying to sign off here. <laughs> um, Sorry, oh, you're back. There you are. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What was it you said? Uh, I was just saying thank you. Thank you for joining me today on a uh, live stream toy guys talking great to chat with you again and hopefully it won't be as long for the next time we chat oh absolutely man. anytime I, I love you know hearing everybody's suggestions i mean i that's that's what's made us who we are i mean it's all about what i can make that makes everybody kind of have that same nostalgic feel so mm -hmm. thanks everyone out there for joining us on the chat as well and a huge thank you to the patreon tribe thank you all for joining patreon and supporting the channel and uh, I just, I love doing the Patreon stuff, the Patreon exclusives. There's been tons of uh, sneak peek pics being put up, put up about, I don't know, what is it, like 10 or so pictures of every video coming out. Uh, and then there's the advanced screenings too. So this weekend's videos have already been up on Patreon, um, ad-free and uh, early bird. Uh, so everyone can enjoy those on there as well. So thanks to the Patreon tribe. Appreciate you guys. Thanks to the channel members too. Uh, for hitting that join button and mark thank you thanks for chatting today it was fun till next time man absolutely till, till next time check out uh build a brick i'll have the link in the uh, show notes right here and until next time everybody third mistake